Hey guys, welcome to another video. Air travel has been booming in our country recently. More people are flying than they have ever before. Airplanes are flying much farther and also carrying more people than they have ever before. Commercial aircrafts normally fly at altitudes of 35,000 feet. This is done to reduce the amount of drag on the aircraft and also increase the efficiency of the engines. However, at such high altitudes, the atmospheric pressure is typically one-fifth of what it is at sea level. The temperature at this altitude is also very low. Such conditions are not suitable for humans to live, let alone travel. To make it hospitable for humans to travel, aircrafts are normally pressurized. This causes high pressure difference between the inside and the outside of the aircraft. To withstand this, a cylindrical shape is chosen. This is not only for structural integrity, but also for aerodynamic performance. Along with a strong fuselage, air is required to be pressurized for use in the aircraft. Most modern aircraft use a turbofan engine for propulsion. Bleed air from the compressor is fed into the air mixing unit which mixes the cold air from the low pressure compressor and the hot air from the high pressure compressor. The mixed air is then circulated in the cabin of the aircraft through ducts. This mixing is based upon the temperature set by the pilot or the flight attendant on their console. There is a common misconception that the same air is used over and over again. The used air is generally let out of the aircraft through an outflow valve which is located on the fuselage. Although the aircraft is pressurized, the air pressure in the cabin at cruising altitude is lower than the air pressure at sea level. At typical cruising altitudes, air pressure in the cabin is equivalent to the air pressure at 8000 feet above sea level. This is done to reduce the pressure on the fuselage. This is also the reason why a few people get sick during flight as the amount of air pressure and oxygen available is much lesser than what they are used to at the sea levels. In case of cabin depressurization, oxygen masks are dropped in for the passenger's usage. These masks are connected to an oxygen generator which produces oxygen via chemical reactions. The oxygen generator contains sodium chlorate pellets and an igniter. The masks are connected to the generator by a string and hose. The string is used to activate the igniter which generates heat to decompose this chemical and thus generating oxygen for the passengers. This is the reason why they instruct you to pull down the oxygen mask during the pre-flight announcements. The aircraft is also advised to dive down to lower altitudes of 10,000 feet and land at the nearest airport. That's because it cannot supply this oxygen forever. All right, with that, I would like to conclude this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Bye.